Good to not see you. I always like to start that way so I can turn around to a sea of disappointed faces. <laughs> My name is Calvin, like Calvin and Hobbes, Calvin Coolidge, Calvin Ripken Jr., John Calvin, or as the ladies know me, hey, you in the bushes. <laughs> I was raised by my father, he gave me great advice. He says, Calvin, when you're in a relationship with a woman, you can say whatever you want to her. As long as she doesn't hear you. <laughs> Which is why old men mumble. <laughs> says, Calvin, don't look at the girly pictures, you go blind. Don't look at the naked women, you go blind. I says, Dad, I'm over here. <laughs> I've got a Canadian cousin with blood type A. <laughs> oh, it gets worse. <laughs> and a cousin who used to work on ladders, so if you're up there. <laughs> and a couple grandpas. One grandpa died during World War II. He was sitting in a hot tub, but it was during World War II. <laughs> Very relaxing way to go. My other grandpa was an American soldier. He's making an escape onto a train. He was wearing a brown trench coat and he was naked underneath. And he was trying to hide in the back of the train. And the ticket girl found him. And he didn't know what to do. So he's sitting there like this. And he flashes her. Without missing a beat, she says, Sir, I need your ticket, not your stub. <laughs> well, they got married and she became my grandma. <coughs> my grandma, she's schizophrenic, but she's good people. <laughs> One summer I was five and she was somebody else. <laughs> My grandma taught me about chivalry. They say it's chivalry if you hold the door for a woman, but not if you hold it closed. <laughs> like, let me in, you jerk. No, I'm trying to be romantic. <laughs> couples raise your hand, please. All the couples. They're all reluctantly just like, I don't want to raise my hand. It's very romantic to go for a coastal drive, right? You put the top down in the car, sun's coming up on the horizon, wind in your hair, but she can't stop complaining, let me out of the trunk. <laughs> I was looking at my phone bill recently, I've had charges for Hennessy, Patron, Cuervo and Drambui on my phone bill. Apparently I'm calling the shots. <laughs> I hesitate to tell you that I'm part Native American. I have my reservations. <laughs> one, time, one time a guy ran up to me screaming, I'm a teepee, I'm a wigwam, I'm a teepee, I'm a wigwam. I says, relax man, you're too tense. <laughs> Car broke down, so I took it to a shop. Guy ran up to me. I'm a Bridgestone. I'm a Goodyear. I said, "You're too tired." <laughs> Do you guys know that Native Americans hate snow because the white is on their land? <laughs> Boo me like I invented it. <laughs> This guy invented racism, <laughs> oppression, and whatnot. I like women, though. I like lots of women. I like Amish women, because you can't call the next day. I went on a blind date one time. It didn't start that way, but she brought pepper spray. <laughs> I was going out with this one girl for a couple of years. I figured, okay, after a couple of years, it's time to pop the question. So as to Rachel, why are we still together? <laughs> and then because I was kneeling, she banned me from the NFL. <laughs> oh, is it too soon? Is that also my fault? Is that too soon? Well, I'll leave you with this, because I didn't bring it with me. Uh, 
<laughs> I just started very recently, and I, I know you won't care about this, but I just started very recently doing CrossFit, okay? <laughs> Mondays and Tuesdays I work on my upper body. Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays I work on my lower body. And then Saturdays and Sundays I spend that whole time trying to work on the muscle that gets me to not tell people I do CrossFit. <laughs> My name is Calvin. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.